All right, guys, so today we're gonna check out a pair of truly wireless earbuds that was sent to us from the website devicemundo.com. Now, this is a website that has a bunch of different electronics, and in fact, they even have a page dedicated to audio where they have a lot of products that we've covered on the channel, like the KZZ1s, the Sabbath E12 Ultras, and a bunch of others. So if you're interested in checking them out, there will be a link in the description. Now, the pair that they wanted to send out for us to check out on the channel is the Jeet Air Plus. Now this is a pair that retails for 66 bucks and in fact they even made the code GAMESKI where you can save a few dollars and pick them up for around 63. Now given the features that these have, I definitely felt that these were worth checking out and I wanted to see if it was worth the price tag. But let's go ahead and check out some of the features and what it is you get inside the box. Now the first thing that caught my attention is not only do these have Bluetooth 5.0, these are also using the Qualcomm 3020 chip that has aptX and AAC playback. So you're getting some of the best Bluetooth codecs right out of the box. Now as far as the IP rating, they come in rated at IPX5. So this is a pair that if you're out and about, you don't necessarily have to worry too much, like if it rains or if you sweat heavily, just make sure that you don't submerge them into water. Now, as far as what you're getting inside the box, you are getting an extra set of the proprietary silicone ear tips that are made specifically for these. And then as far as the charging cable goes, they've included a USB-C cable. And one of the things that impressed me the most is the battery life. The battery life on the earbuds themselves, you're going to get around 10 hours of use, where with the case, you're gonna get around 35 hours total. And then on top of that, it even has the fast charge feature, where if you pick your earbuds up and they're dead, a fast 15 minute charge is going to get you three hours worth of use. So that alone is something that definitely comes in handy. Now moving over to checking out the charging case, I felt the case on this was fairly light, really small, especially considering the battery life that it's given. You have the USB-C input on the bottom, you have a pairing button on the back, and then you have a single indicator light that's located underneath the lid so that you can kind of gauge how much battery life is left on the case. Now when you open the lid, you can see that the earbuds have a little bit of size to them. And again, I think that comes back to the fact that you're having a battery life that's giving you 10 hours of use. So that's definitely worth the trade-off in my opinion. Now what makes these stand out is these have a different type of control system than some of the others. They don't have button control and they don't necessarily have touch control, but what they're using is an accelerometer that's built into the earbuds, which what it's doing is it's picking up on the fact that you're tapping the earbuds. It's kind of reacting to the physical touch and you can actually touch the earbuds anywhere. There's not like a single spot you have to touch. You can touch the top, the bottom, the outside, just anywhere around the earbud, it will pick that up and it will utilize your controls. But one thing I don't like is they're very limited on the controls. You only get one option per earbud. Now they do have an app, which I am glad that they did that because you're able to switch what you want the controls to do. So I have mine set up where my right earbud will skip the track forward and then my left earbud will play and pause the music. So it is very limited when it comes to the controls. I mean, you can summon your smart assistant to make it do some of the other things, but I personally just like to have all the controls on the earbuds themselves. Now, the other things that the app does is it has some pre-built EQ settings in there, so you don't have to just be stuck with the sound the way it is out of the box. But we'll talk about that a little bit later when we talk about the sound. Now, when it comes to using the earbuds individually, you'll be happy to know that you can use either the left or the right. And then as far as the microphones on here, I think they did a decent job. I don't think it's anything that's gonna blow anybody away, but I don't think anybody on the other end of a call will have any complaints either. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. All right, guys, so here is the mic test using the Jeet Air Plus. Again, like I said, I think it's doing an okay job of picking up my voice, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is a mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. So this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. I will say the sound right out of the box sounded flat, it sounded dull, there wasn't a whole lot of life to it. So I didn't have high hopes just listening to them right out of the box. But once I was able to go in the app and find an EQ setting that I liked, which was the pure audio setting, I could definitely tell that it was bringing out a lot more in the sound. Now, I still felt like the bass could use some cleaning up and be a little bit tighter. Um, it definitely feels like it's trying to give you that impact, but it also feels like at times it could get a little sloppy. 
Now, when it comes to the mids, the mids did an excellent job. Uh, male and female vocals and certain instruments just had a really nice clarity to them. And so that also leans towards the treble having a nice clean sound as well. Now, I still would have liked to have seen the treble be bumped up just a little bit. So there are definitely some things that I would like to do with the sound of these just to get it the way that I want. But luckily, the app does save it with having different EQ settings. You just don't have the ability to EQ it yourself the way that you may want it. Now, as far as the sound stage and the sound imaging, these don't sound very open. Um, and again, that could be because of the bass falling flat. It just didn't have as natural a feel to it. But you can definitely tell where instruments are coming from because of the clarity in the mids and the highs. Um, again, it just kind of leaves you wanting a little bit more because you want a little bit more clarity and a little bit tighter impact when it comes to bass. So as far as some of my other cons with these, I really think that these need other controls on the earbuds themselves. I think just having single controls on each earbud is not gonna be enough for most people. And then I really would like to see the app give you the ability to EQ these the way that you want personally. So that way, if I want a little bit more treble, I can do that on my own. Or if I want to try to bump up the bass a little bit, I could do that as well. But overall, if you're somebody that's looking for a pair of truly wireless earbuds that can easily get you through the the day and if you're somebody that mainly focuses on podcasts or movies or just watching videos these are absolutely excellent for that but if you're somebody that just mainly listens to music like myself I feel like you're gonna be left wanting a little bit more just because I like to have a little bit more dynamic sound with listening to music but guys, that's my video on the Jeet Air Plus. Again, I want to thank devicemundo.com for sending these out. This video is not sponsored in any way, but I am definitely thankful for websites like this that has different audio products and just wants to be able to help the channel and help the subscribers by offering you codes. So it's just something that I like to do to point that out. So definitely make sure to check out their site in the description. But guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.